Hey folks, this is Mal. Welcome back. And we're going to do a little bit of uh, post first mission base setup and talk a little bit about what's the what's the best way or suggested way to get your base up and running and sort of uh, pick up a track of what you're going to do in the first few weeks, first month. Um, because that really kind of sets the tone of, of what your strategies are going to be. And I'll talk about the, the uh, types of strategy in a little bit more detail in the, the, in the next labs. video. Commander to the research All right, labs. so let's, let's, let's head over here, select our first research. Start a new project. Okay, so since we used grenades last mission, <laughs> we don't have enough weapon fragments to start these research. So we'll go ahead and get started with xenobiology. But between these two, you've got weapons fragments, which uh, leads to scopes, which is pretty useful. Uh, and then obviously some, some weapon enhancements. And then you have alien materials, which leads to uh, fiber vests. And then further on down the road to better armor. Um, a lot of to people pick Commander the to engineering. A lot of people pick the alien materials Commander, and then beeline it. I realize our troops have to put their own survival. Beeline it's a carapace armor. Every alien. Alright, let's see here. Okay, so this is pretty important. You've got research here with Dr. Valen. And you've got different types of engineering construction components, be it weapons, armor. Satellites. Commander now, a lot of people control. missed this piece. Commander to mission control. Oh. Okay, mission control. Great. Back out of there. A lot of people miss this and they get frustrated, but you have to put up new satellites, which after the first couple of missions, you'll get access to that information. And they'll talk about maintaining panic and that each country wants satellite coverage. Under here, under build items, you click on this tab here. You have the ability to build satellites. But we don't want to do that just yet, just wanted to show you. Okay, so under build facilities, under engineering, we've still got some room build to facilities. Build here, but if we really want to expand our facilities, we're going to have to start excavating beneath the base. Unfortunately, the deeper we go, the more it's going to cost. This gives us a general overview here of where we're currently at in terms of our base setup. So you can actually see the base out here. You can sort of zoom in and look around your base, which is pretty cool if you ask me. But in terms of construction, let's talk about that. So build facilities. Now this is randomized. So you may, like I've got a steam here on level 2, the steam vent, which we can use for a generator, which is uh, for a ge geothermal, which is great, uh, and it's pretty close by, but sometimes they'll be like down here, or I've even had it, or I haven't even had one. Uh, in terms of the setup, you want to bear in mind where everything needs to be in the long term. A, a lot of structures, for instance this satellite uplink, they have adjacency bonuses, uh, so you want to keep them, you definitely want to keep them together. So as a general rule of thumb, you want to have satellite uplinks in essentially this area here. You want to end up building one in each spot so that you have a, a square of satellite uplinks. And then you can put some random things along the sides, like you can put officer training school up here, alien containment down here, so on and so forth. Likewise on the other side, uh, you want to try to keep, since we've got steam here, we'll end up building probably a power plant here. And a geothermal over here. And then, uh, since we're going to want more... Uh, since we're going to want more engineers, we're going to have to build additional workshops. And we're probably going to want those linked as well. Now this might change in uh, Enemy Within. And they're saying that it, it will be different, but... Uh, workshops were far more important than than laboratories, so we'll see if that shifts in enemy within. But as it stands right now, 
uh, workshops are far more important than, than laboratories, especially since you need a minimum amount of engineers to build certain structures. So, as an example, right now, I really can't build much. I mean, we can't build much at all. I mean, in theory, we could build a thermal generator if we could get down to it and we had the money for it, but power generator, that's about it. Satellite uplink, you need 10 engineers. And we have, click on engineer, we have five. So we need another, we need another five engineers before we'll be able to do anything. But initial, initial facilities, let's go ahead and uh, excavate this. And we're going to need it anyway, so we're going to put in a power generator here. Actually, no, we don't need it just this second. Let's go look at next event, council report. We need to keep that date in, in mind. Build by facilities, okay. Satellites take 20 days to manufacture. They become a lot cheaper as you get more engineers. But we're going to need these as quickly as possible. So this gets down to the the, uh, the strategy piece of do you do a, uh, a satellite rush or do you go for alien capture? And like I said, we'll get into that in the next video. Let's take a look at the barracks, see what happened to our guys. Got a couple people wounded. You can see down here at the bottom. Like I said, that last mission wasn't perfect, so you end up with this. We did get one person properly promoted. She's a assault now. And then we also got a heavy. Let's take a look. Since we had um, not created equally and hidden potential, not all the stats are the same for these soldiers. I have a will, so an example here is a will of 35 and an aim of 60. A will is essentially uh, their coolness under fire, whether or not they're going to freak out if somebody gets hurt or if they get hurt, start shooting their own people. Uh, this is actually pretty pretty important. I'd say really important in the more difficult games, be it either uh, you know classic difficulty or impossible. Will becomes in increasingly important. It's also the basis of whether or not um, you are going to have resistance to psionic aliens, and also whether or not there's a chance that you'll be able to get psionic abilities later on. And then I think aim is pretty self-explanatory. Let's see what we got here. Oh, wow. It sucks. Alright, so generally anybody this crappy, I just go ahead and dismiss them. Okay, Sarah Murphy's pretty good. At least aim wise. Oh, okay. Dismiss. Oh! Alright, this guy's a rock star. Alright, so we've started our research, or we're going to. We're going to I take xenobiology for now. The most pressing of our current research options. We'll begin immediately. I will notify you when a complete report is available. Generally speaking, I would go with alien materials, but I'm missing one weapon fragment. But I would go with alien materials as my first choice. And. Let's expand the list here. Okay, we don't need to build. We don't need to build any satellites yet. Uh, and since we're gonna try to get some additional engineers off our first mission, we'll see. I'm oh, sorry. Excuse me. Our second mission. Let's see if we can't bring the cost down. So we're gonna hold off for now. But again, keep in mind that uh, satellites have to be built and launched before the end of the month, before the council report, and even if it's just a few hours before the council report on the same day, it doesn't matter as long as they're up before that. Uh, and they're, they end up being launched out of the Situation Room, which isn't active yet, but I'll be able to show you that in the next video. Alright, let's go to Mission Control. You can click here or here. And let's scan for activity. Complete. Commander, okay. we've picked up multiple sites. requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. 
Okay, so sometimes the temptation would be to go for the easy mission, you know, or maybe a moderate take the money. But we really want the engineers. Okay, so I'm gonna go grab them. I also want to bear in mind as you move forward what the panic levels are, not only of the country, but when you have access to once you have access to the situation room, you'll be able to see uh, the actual uh, region and what it, what its panic level is. Like for instance, the United States, if it really starts freaking out, can affect Canada. You know, can can affect Mexico. So you you need to look at the the whole picture and not just the individual place. But since these are at low panic, and what we really want is engineers anyway, and they're already at two panic, we're gonna go ahead and confirm. We're gonna take that one. Okay, I'm gonna clear everything. All right, and okay, my salt's not available. So let's see here. We know we want this guy because he was the guy with the great stats. And we know we want her. Yeah. Take the heavy. Because he's got his rocket. And then... Who else was good? They were all about the same. take him, that's fine. Dropship has arrived. Get ready to deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. Okay, I want to try to keep out of sight if it's possible, and get up here to this truck. Set them all on Overwatch. Enemy spotted. Dead and gone. All right. What was that? Decent start. Was a misclick. Damn it. Thought I had the next soldier. Oh well. It happens. We'll hold this spot here, and then we're gonna try to move forward to this van. I think that happened. Now, this is this is one of the things that's hilarious about X Games. There's no reason why these aliens should be triggered, right? They just are. I'm 
we've got one down here. Ah, oh, but you can't take a shot? Nope, can't. That's the end of the map. Okay. to do, what to do. Problem is we've got this guy lurking over here, which I'm not too happy about. Okay, I think we're gonna dash over here, even though I really don't want to dash. It's raining death over here. Should be, yeah. Well, I don't want to say relatively safe, but not not bad anyway. Okay, so yeah, don't forget about destructible environments. So the truck got lit up last turn and then blew up this turn. If you're standing next to it, that's uh, especially when you're low level like this, so it's always bad, but it's especially bad right now. And now this cover, as you can see, is only half. There's still sections of it that are full, but most of it's half. Also, I would recommend you not go inside the blown up trucks. It's been known to create problems for you. This sectoid is actually giving a buff to this one over here. If you kill this sectoid, both of them die. So. Always a good idea to try to get them. I mean, who doesn't want two for one, right? It's like Twix. They don't sell them in a one pack, do they? Well, it's a two pack. It's a better deal that way. Okay. Don't want to dash. Let's see here. I think we're going to do. Let's see what's our range here. Yeah, we'll be able to do it. Alright, we're gonna come up here. And grenade time. No, denied. Okay. Well, we'll have to bring him up. Is he gonna be close enough? Oh. Well, we'll try. If he's not dead. Okay, what I just did was stupid, so don't do that. It might be worth it. Target. Great. Oh, you suck. 
Why can't you hit anything? Is that all you got? Okay. Vehicle on fire. Yes, the vehicle is on fire. I agree. Uh huh. Sixty percent. That was if I come up here. Alright, we'll hold off on that. Nice. Oh, seven crit. All right. An exemplary performance. Let's hope all of these operations go as smoothly as this oh, one did. Our snipers awesome. specialize in dealing massive amounts of damage from afar. But without sufficient training, they're vulnerable in close combat situations. Just like it sounds, got a sniper, the support class provides the support. intangible edge our squads awesome. need. They make everyone around shush, them better. Shush it. Quiet. Smack smack. Okay. So now we have access to uh, a workshop. So we we want to get that going as soon as possible. So, build facilities. We're going to put it right here because we already know we want a power generator there. Begin construction. Work crews are on their way to begin construction. I'll send word when the new facility is operational. Every member yeah. of the council is Here's going to want satellite coverage. So Here's we the situation room. Deployments carefully. Okay. So let me explain this real quick. So you've got their meter. If they get to five, there's a strong likelihood at the end of the month, and only at the end of the month, that they'll leave the council, which is you're going to lose, uh, you know, potential resources and bonuses, uh, and you don't want that. Okay, so you want to try to keep the keep all of them, if possible. It can be challenging, but it, it is it is doable. So right now, this shows that we have zero available, right? Because we haven't built any satellites. And we have one out of two in orbit. So we have the capacity to launch another one. Because we have one satellite uplink. We need to build additional satellite uplinks to support additional satellites. Kind of makes sense, right? So we have 25 days to council report. It takes 20 days to build um, a satellite. And if I recall correctly, it takes 14 days uh, to build a... Satellite uplink. Let's confirm that. So we need five power, ten engineers, 150 bucks. Okay, and you get plus one satellite capacity for every two uplinks constructed adjacent to each other. So we add another one, we're actually going to get three instead of two in terms of capacity. But for now, let's see. Situation room. Here we'll go to the Several members of the market. council have expressed an interest in acquiring some of the artifacts we've recovered. However, we should be careful in choosing what items we release. The research team may not have discovered yeah. their true value yet. Commander, the artifact we're about to sell to the council hasn't been examined by the research team. I'm sure Dr. Volland yeah, would yeah. be disappointed if we put financial gains ahead of our own research and development. I I don't care. Okay, so see, this is a little bit cheaper now that we have more engineers, right? 77 uh, instead of 100. So I'm going to go ahead and build a satellite. Put it in the queue for 20 days. And I know that I can safely launch it because I have the capacity right here. So as the month unfolds, depending on the timing of the days, how much money I have, so on and so forth, I should be able to build another satellite uplink and a couple more satellites. Generally, I'd like to try to get out three, four satellites. But you know what? I'm going to go on that in the next video, talk about the overall strategy. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.